Hey everyone, and welcome to theCUBE's continuous coverage of AWS reInvent 2021. I'm Lisa Martin, so excited to be here in person with thousands of folks, everybody COVID vaccinated. We are running one of the largest, industry's largest tech hybrid events with AWS, and it's huge ecosystem of partners. We're going to be having two live sets, two remote sets, over a hundred guests. And I am pleased to welcome two new guests to theCUBE. Mike Milner is here, the head of product management at Trend Micro, and Danielle Greshock, worldwide partner, solution architects at AWS. Guys, welcome to the program. Good to be here. Thanks for having us. Isn't it nice to have this background noise of actual humans? Such a nice buzz. Yeah. yeah. It really is a nice buzz. So the last, obviously, 20, 22 months have been quite challenging for all of us. Kudos to AWS for doing this in such a safe manner. But Mike, I wanted to get kind of a, a background in the last year and a half or so since we last spoke. What's going on at Trend Micro? We've seen so much change in the security landscape, the threat landscape. What are some of the things that you guys are seeing? Yeah, good question. So, you know, some things stay the same and some things are always changing. Certainly, lately, a big rise in ransomware really affecting companies. This is a case where, in the past, maybe we were concerned with targeted attacks, but now things like ransomware can affect anyone. So it's really broad attacks looking at any possible threat, any possible vector that can impact a company. Ransomware as a service is on the rise massively and it's become, I've talked to some about it a lot yep. this, this last year and a half or so, being with it growing so rapidly. It's now a matter of when we got hit, not if. So that's a really interesting topic that you bring up. Danielle, I want to bring you into the conversation. Talk to us about, from a partnership perspective, about what you guys are doing together with yeah. Trend Micro. I mean, we've had a partnership with Trend Micro. I mean, I've been at AWS almost eight years. As long as I've been there, I can remember you know, Trend being a huge AWS partner. Um, and of course, we've evolved over the years, and um, definitely in the last 12 to 18 months, we've been doing a lot of joint events together, trying to broaden our reach of customers. Um, about talking about trend solution. And we're going now to a lot of companies that have not used cloud before and look at a solution such as trend solution as a way in which they can move their workloads into the cloud and feel secure and safe about it and you know, not have to worry about you know, ransomware or any other kind of cyber attacks and feel good about moving into the cloud. Moving into the cloud while yes. there's still so many folks that are working from home, working yes. from anywhere really that will be and for... And it's accelerated that uh, journey for a lot of companies who maybe weren't thinking about it, but now are ma making that move a lot faster. What are some of the, the, uh, the challenges that you're seeing in the last 20 months as the acceleration of digital transformation, cloud adoption, it was for mm -hmm. so many businesses that weren't there and on that journey. I'm just curious what some of the things are that you guys have observed together mm -hmm. in this interesting time. Yeah. No, for sure. Certainly, you know, Trend Micro has a lot of capability, a lot of products. I focus on the cloud. Cloud One, but really the endpoint protection. Users are at home, they're remote, they're accessing their infrastructure from so many different environments. Like you said, it's really set this ahead probably 10 years really, this work from home concept. It has. So talk to me about some of the other things that are changing, and that is the security buyer. Yeah. Like what's going on there? What are some of the conversations that you're having, challenges that they're having, but this is kind of a new uh, persona that's being targeted. Yeah, I think there is a big shift happening here. As consumers, we're so used to trying things out, adopting new technology really rapidly, and I think industry is kind of catching up. Historically, this has been kind of top-down decisions. A, a CISO or executive is making security buying decisions. Increasingly, customers want to actually try things out. They want to experience the value, see how it works in their environments. And this could be coming from different business units, different parts of the organization. So we've really been focusing on adapting our products, our capability, and how we address customers to really reach these people who are making these decisions, yeah. for sure. And I think more and more developers are actually part of that process as well because they're being tasked with, if you're going to build it, you also have to uh, operate it and you also have to secure it, and so, you know. What are some of the challenges that, that the specifically that you're hearing from developers that are helping you to really advance Cloud One and the partnership? I mean, I would say like for what I hear from developers is mostly how can I integrate this into my existing process and make it easy, but. I think that's huge. Yeah. It's really developers who are shaping so much of the infrastructure that needs to be protected. In the past, it maybe was the other way around. Correct. That's been a massive shift in the industry and yeah. 
as you say, we need to help developers be secure without them having to learn a whole new set of skills and security. We want them to be security aware, but we can't expect them all to be experts. Yeah. I, I was a developer myself for like 15, 16 years, and we're terrible at security. We're terrible <laughs> at it. So uh, anything that, any products that, that, that help in that journey is key. For so. sure, and it's not that you don't want to be secure. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just, that yeah. really your goal is providing the business value. Exactly. Right? And security, it needs to be there, but it's always going to be seen as kind of a drag, extra. kind of slowing things down. <laughs> yeah. So we want to build tools to help there. And I imagine too also sort of facilitate from a cultural perspective, the developers, the security folks becoming better partners together because security, as we talked about in the very beginning, even mentioning ransomware is a massive issue. It's, it's a global issue, it's say national security issue for the yeah. US and other countries like that, but that cultural shift has got to be interesting, especially Danielle, you as a former developer, talk to me about some of the customer conversations and how are you helping those developers become comfortable with the security responsibility? I mean, I think again, it's back to integrating it into their normal process, into the DevOps process, to just have that be an extra step in there um, where they can, they can see that it's easy. Be being easy is key, and then they can just be able to roll that out with everything that they're doing. They've already kind of like made the mind shift to test their work that they do, so it's now secure it, um, and that's just one other you know practice that they start doing. So, yeah, and I think it really goes in the other direction as well. Security teams who have the responsibility for security. They now have to understand all of the new technologies coming out of AWS, yep. all these new tools with Kubernetes, yep. continuous integration, continuous deployment, and that's a big ask as well. We can't expect security teams to be experts in all that. So really it's the two sides of that coin, for Coming sure. together, for Coming sure. Coming together, but it's also kind of like a shared responsibility model yes. if you think of it in that way. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Talk to me, Mike, about Cloud One. Is this a joint solution that is built on AWS? Help me understand it and what's going yeah, on. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Cloud One is really a platform to help cloud builders be secure. We want to make security simple, and that is those different personas. We need it to be simple for security. Let them just set their policy goals. Hey, I need to be compliant to this standard or this standard. I want to follow the well-architected framework. These are my goals. And then the development teams need to work, deliver that value that they're trying to do, and tools like Cloud One, our goal is to really help them deliver that value and be secure following those guardrails and those goals set by security. And we do that across containers, workloads, serverless, yep. really extending our offering as customers start using new platforms. What are some of the things, Mike, that you've seen in, during the pandemic as we've seen this massive acceleration, the rush to the cloud? What's been going on with Cloud One from that perspective and how has the pandemic maybe helped shape the technology and the partnership? Yeah, it's a great point. Um, I think of it as well as, I mean, Cloud One, we build our platform, and we've been doing that now remotely for the past two years with engineers all over the world, really around the world, five major engineering sites, teams working from home, and in that time, we've delivered all of our security value, but we've also ourselves deployed Cloud One across eight regions worldwide, and now our engineering teams are deploying worldwide, and, and we're making our system compliant and secure, so I really feel like all this remote work has helped us gain yeah. a really deeper understanding of the problems our customers are facing, for sure. Yeah. I was going to say, just for us, I, as we've done some joint events together, we've had to do all of those things remotely, so that has definitely been a, a challenge, but also getting good with the messaging and making sure that we are able to connect with those customers um, online. Right, because we knew things shifted yep. dramatically overnight for everyone in every industry, and it was yep. interesting to see how technology helped shape and pave the pathway for those folks that survived and yep. then are now thriving. Yep. Um, but I did see some some of the recent news on Cloud One or on cloud security. The data data centers in nine countries. It sounds to me like a differentiator for Trend Micro. In terms Absolutely. of data sovereignty, data, data residency? It's a major issue these days. Our companies, our customers are around the world and they've got their own security requirements. And obviously, Cloud One is helping them be secure, but they need to trust us with our compliance and with data sovereignty. They might have a specific requirement to store data within their own jurisdiction, and we want to support that, make it easy for them. 
security simplified. Mm -hmm. Security simplified, I like that. If yeah. we could only simplify more things in life, guys, that would be fantastic. Talk to me about uh, a, a customer example that you think really speaks volumes to the partnership and the capabilities of Cloud One. Jill. Yeah, I think it's interesting to see the companies come on board using Cloud One who you don't typically associate with security issues, like media companies who are used to sending information out. Security is a major concern. We've got major brands from news to media who need security. And it's coming up in more and more industries. Every company is a software company and they need to yep. be secure. Really, every company is a data company. You think of, of the supermarket, the grocery chains, here we are at, at, uh, at AWS reInvent, them big owning Amazon, owning Whole Foods, for example, but the data challenge, the data growth challenge is huge, it's, and, and that's where I think the security um, focus needs to be, is wherever that data is, and now it's scattered everywhere. Absolutely, Trend Micro's been in this business for over 30 years, and it's amazing to see the shift of what's important, what needs to be secured, how it needs to be secured over that long a period. And we always feel that we're leading things and I think Cloud One is really on the forefront for how customers are building applications, delivering value to their customers and we're helping them be secure. Yeah, and just to Mike's point, I mean, I definitely think, you know, years ago it was always financial services company, healthcare companies who had compliance requirements, but more and more travel and hospitality, media and entertainment, these are all companies that are looking for security solutions. So. And we're seeing, from a data uh, privacy perspective, we're seeing regulations pop up all over the world. Yes, absolutely. Uh, California, China, GDPR, Singapore, GDPR, mm -hmm. exactly, and I'm sure that's the tip of the iceberg for more data security regulations that we're going to see across the board as we humans and our technology companies are generating more and more and more data. That's the one yeah. thing that is not slowing down not at all. Pandemic down at all. or no pandemic, right? Correct. So what's the vision going forward, Danielle, in terms of the partnership with Fred Micro? Um, I mean, I think, again, we are always looking for joint customers who are looking for simplicity and looking for the, you know, the value proposition that Cloud One has and just continuing to grow that customer base together. Yeah, for sure. I think it was two years ago, we yeah. were in person here at theCUBE in 2019, I think, talking about Cloud One as a new thing. Two years later, a lot has changed, mm -hmm. but it's great to see the market validating all the effort we're putting into it and industry looking at these big platforms yeah. that provide that broad security as the way forward. And well, from an analyst perspective, there's a lot of value if coming down from the analyst and for cybersecurity uh, firms because of the threats that we talked about, the, that, that landscape changing, the fact that it is so easy to launch ransomware, the fact that it is coming through every media, we're seeing a lot more value placed on cybersecurity firms from, from the industry, which has got to be kudos to you guys and what you're doing and also help kind of guide direction in terms of the vision going forward. Yeah, for sure, I mean, we have threat research, we are really into understanding what attackers are doing and they lead our direction. We're always on the forefront of protecting our customers from the leading threats. And our, our partnerships, the most successful partnerships that we have are the ones in which we're consistently innovating and Trend has always been doing that with us. Any new service that we release, any you know, as he talked, as uh, Mike was talking about uh, Kubernetes, et cetera, all of those new areas in which to go in, the, the partners that are able to keep up with us are the ones who are you know, the most successful. So. One of the things I know about many things of AWS is that it's very customer obsessed, yeah, focused very. on the customer. I imagine culturally, Mike, there's alignment there from Trend Micro's perspective? Absolutely, and AWS is a great organization to work with because it shows through, throughout interaction that they are customer obsessed, absolutely. That's a, good, that's a good thing to be obsessed about, yeah. if all things considered. Last question guys, tell me what some of the things are that, that attendees are going to be learning from both of you guys and from the, the booth at the event this week. So certainly from the Cloud One Trend Micro booth right behind us, if the cameras can see it, uh, we've got demos of all the different functionality in Cloud One from containers, file storage, workloads, serverless, definitely come check that out to really see the breadth of the platform and what it can do to help. Awesome, guys, thank you so much. You're now CUBE yeah. alumni, got to yeah. give you, we've got branded masks, very COVID friendly. Uh, we appreciate your insights talking to us about Trend Micro, the AWS partnership, and sharing some of those customer examples. Great work in the last 20 months, and it's great to have you here in person. Thanks for having us. Thank you very us. much. 
For my guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's continuous coverage of AWS reInvent 2021. theCUBE, the global leader in live tech coverage.